Tigers lost today, 8-7 to to the Chicago White Sox. That was the third game of our three-game set against them. So we still take the series win, winning two out of three. Uh, today we should have honestly been able to keep the ninth inning going, but the ump completely ruined the game. He just called two balls that weren't even close to being strikes, uh, both of them about two or three inches off the plate, uh, one inside and one outside. So he really just didn't have any sort of control over the strike zone. The ump's an absolute joke. If you're calling uh, one side of the strike zone heavily a strike, even though it's a ball, all right, the hitters have to adjust to that. That's your strike zone. But if you're calling the inside strike and the outside strike, Ron, you just don't know what you're doing back there. So the guy's an absolute joke. I'm hoping he never umpires again, and I can't wait to find out who was actually behind the plate when they released the scorecards for the game. But we can get into the box score here. Badu, he had a pretty good game, one for four today. He had a single or yeah, a single in the second and then a strikeout in the first. So not an awful game. He had an RBI single. It was a pretty clutch hit. Like I said a couple videos ago when he got pinch hit for when a lefty came in, uh, he can hit lefties when we have runners in scoring position. He's a really good clutch hitter, especially with runners in scoring position. So uh, I think that was a really big hit, too, because it showed he, he can bat against lefties and he doesn't need to be pinch hit for. But uh, we can go into the next batter. Daz Cameron did pinch hit for him in the eighth. I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, he got a walk, so it was still pretty good. He almost got called. He should have been called for strike three on that at-bat, too. But like I said, the ump's an absolute joke. So he wasn't just hurting us. He was helping us. He just doesn't know what he's doing back there behind the plate. But uh, Scope, two for four. Pretty, a really good game, honestly. He had a single in the first. He had a homer in the fifth. And he sacrificed flying in the eighth. Did everything he could to help us win. Really great win, A really great game from him. Grossman won for five today. Had a couple rough swings that you don't usually see from Grossman. He did have a throwing error. He got safe on a throwing error in the eighth and then a single in the fifth. So he got on base twice, so we will take that. He also had some nice plays in the outfield today. He made a diving catch, which I don't think it would have been a diving catch for most people, but since he's so slow, it had to be a diving catch. But still a great play by him to come up with it. Uh, Miguel, two for four, another great game from him. Single in the first and a double in the eighth. He started our eighth inning rally where we scored five runs, I believe. So that was huge. He got pinch ran for Zach Short and then ended up biting us in the end because in the eighth we came all the way back around in the order and we would have had Miggy at bat with runners on first and third, uh, two outs, but instead it was Zach Short. So that was a little bit unfortunate. Uh, we usually always pinch run for Miggy if it's past the eighth. I didn't think Hinch thought we were going to get another at-bat for him. So I guess it was still a smart pinch run, but it kind of bit us in the ass in the end. But Candelario here, one for three with a single in the ninth and two walks. Another great game. A lot of people played amazing today. Uh, we did almost everything we could to win, and the umps kind of screwed us in the end. But Pradas 0 for three. He had a really nice hard hit um, ball in his last at-bat that was I believe 105 off his bat, so he really crushed it. I was hoping he could maybe get a walk-off two-run homer. Uh, he walked in his first plate appearance. He got hit by a pitch, and he struck out as well. So two times getting on base is really good. We will take that. Haas, good game behind the plate. Great defense. He threw out Abreu uh, trying to steal second, and that's what caused the bench clearing. In my opinion, Abreu just... It's kind of a bitch move to slide into Nico and then start talking shit. We obviously did not mean to hit him in a 7-8 to eight game. The pitch just got in and to hit him. I mean, he's just got to realize we're not trying to lose a game 7-8 to eight that we just came back and give you free base runners. So the guy's an idiot. I don't know why he decided to start shit, but I know the Tigers aren't going to back down. So that was actually pretty interesting to see the bench is clear because that doesn't happen much, but... Nico Goodrum, he actually had a good uh, good game today. He had two walks and a triple in the eighth that scored two runs. So you don't really see that from Nico a lot. He had some bad defense. Uh, one of the double plays we turned, he shovel passed it to Paradas, and it was pretty far off the bag, but Paradas recovered and still threw it to second. Still a great game all in all with the two walks and the hit three times on base is perfect. Uh, Willie Castro, pretty rough game today, especially defensively. He could have... Uh, got to a baseball that bounced right before him and then went behind him. That crappy route he took kind of made it made them score two, three runs instead of uh, maybe one run or even an out if we had an actual outfielder out there. But 
Pretty rough day for Nico. He also struck out in the eighth after we had four consecutive hits and a couple walks. So it was pretty frustrating to see uh, that Willie end our uh, streak of hits there. Uh, we can get into the pitching, though. Uh, Matt Manning had a pretty rough day today. His first three innings, he looked amazing. And then as soon as the fourth inning started, it went all downhill from there. He gave up a solo homer to Yasmani Grandal and then a double to Hernandez to score two runs, and it was just all downhill from there. And then, of course, Willie Castro's play was mixed in there. So he ended up giving up six runs today, five walks. You don't love to see that from a young guy, but uh, especially since he's been pitching so well lately. But I'm, I'm expecting him to have a good start his next time back. I, will, I believe it's against the White Sox again, so he will be facing them three straight times. That's always tough to face the same lineup three straight times. They know what you're pitching, especially since it's been – it's going to be three times in two weeks, so – We'll see how that goes in the next White Sox series. Brian Garcia came in, and he did not limit the damage. He, he gave up a double to score uh, one of Matt's earned runs when he came out. And he also had a couple hard-hit balls, but no earned runs for him. Three hits given up. That's kind of a Brian Garcia line. I don't know why we trusted him to get us out of the jam. I would have maybe put in Foley before Garcia. But that's what we went with. Kroll had a really nice first inning, and then he gave up a two-run homer to Jimenez. Uh, Kroll usually does pretty well. I'm, I'm not going to knock him for today. It's not his fault we lost. Uh, it's definitely just the poor pitching overall with Matt and everyone else combined. Uh, Jason Foley had a really nice inning, though. One, uh, one hit given up and one full inning. We'll take that. And then Alex Lane is the guy that hit Abreu. And I believe he was talking to Abreu, and that's what kind of uh, – Started a, most of the benches clearing. They they were kind of going back and forth at it. But rough game. I really wish that umpire let us have a chance to win it at the end because Nico should have been on a 2-1 count and had a chance to swing. But instead, he was called on strikes. It's a rough day. We'll be back tomorrow for the postgame and pregame. I believe it's the twin series. Yep, we'll start this twin series in Minnesota and then the last one in Chicago. Uh, yep, I'll be back for those tomorrow.